President Trump signaling that, quote, big sanctions are coming after the Turkish military invaded northern Syria, targeting the Kurds. The president not giving details, but suggesting there is consensus in Washington about doing so. Let's get to the White House, start a brand new week there with John Roberts and figure out where we are today. John, hello. Good morning. Bill, good morning to you. We may find out more about that later on today. Meantime, the president continues to defend his decision to pull U.S. forces away from the border between Syria and Turkey, again going to the well about how the United States cannot continue to fight and be involved in endless wars. The president tweeting this morning, quote, the same people who got us into the Middle East mess are the people who most want to stay there. One of the biggest concerns about Turkey fighting the Kurds is whether thousands of ISIS fighters being guarded by the Kurds will be released. The president seems sanguine about that and suggesting that any reports of ISIS fighters being released may simply be a ploy by the Kurds to try to draw the United States back into the fight. The president tweeting, Kurds may be releasing some to get us involved. Easily recaptured by Turkey are European nations from where many came, but they should move quickly. Big sanctions on Turkey coming. Do people really think we should go to war with NATO member Turkey? Never ending wars will end. Last week, the president authorized the Treasury Secretary to impose harsh sanctions on Turkey to cripple its economy if Erdogan doesn't play ball with the administration. Earlier today, Steven Mnuchin appeared to suggest they may be getting ready to pull that trigger. Listen here. We are the national security team met yesterday in the Situation Room. We'll be meeting again this morning. I think you know this is an evolving situation. We're monitoring the situation carefully. So I said the sanctions are ready to go. We'll be updating the president this morning, and when he makes the decision, we'll act on it. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham is meeting with the president this afternoon to talk about possible coordination with congressional sanctions against Turkey. Graham saying that he met with Erdogan at the United Nations in September about creating safe zones. They came to an agreement, and then that Erdogan basically lied to him. Listen here. Is quickly deteriorating inside of Syria. I blame Turkey. There's going to be crippling sanctions imposed by the Congress to supplement what President Trump's administration has done. We're going to send a signal to Turkey that's unmistakable uh, in the eyes of Erdogan and the world, and we're going to break his economy until he stops the bloodshed. We appear to be at a critical point in this conflict, with Turkey escalating its operations, and now the Kurds inviting Syrian forces in to help defend against Turkey. This thing could get out of control pretty quickly, Bill. Thank you, John Roberts.